Coming your way on today's San Francisco 49ers report, we are going to react to Mel Kuyper's latest two-round NFL mock draft in the lead-up to the 2024 NFL draft, which is coming up very, very quickly at the end of this month. Just to look at how things kind of shake out and who the ESPN NFL draft analyst has the Niners taking. Before we dive into all of this, make sure you subscribe for our continued draft coverage on the San Francisco 49ers. And on draft night, and for all three days of the NFL draft, we'll be live right here on this show. Every pick, every single round. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be insightful. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a long weekend, but we're going to spend it together. Let's set the table first and take a look at who goes in the 11 picks prior to the Niners selection with the 31st overall pick. And I think this is good to do because it gives you an indication for which players could be on the board, which players might not be on the board. And a couple of players, obviously, who we've talked about a lot here on the show as potential targets and players of interest for San Francisco. So Mel Kuyper has Graham Barton, interior offensive lineman out of Duke, going to the Pittsburgh Steelers with the 20th overall pick. Jared Verse, the second best edge rusher in this class, falling all the way to 21 out of Florida State, going to the Miami Dolphins, so he stays in Florida. Nate Wiggins, a 4-3, 40-yard dash cornerback out of Clemson, going to the Eagles at number 22. Speaking of fast, nobody's ever been faster than Xavier Worthy out of Texas. At the NFL Combine, he ran a 4-2-1, 40-yard dash, and now he gets to go play football under Jim Harbaugh, according to Kuyper, with the Los Angeles Chargers. Tyler Guyton going to the offensive lineman Needy team in the Dallas Cowboys, not a far trip from Oklahoma. So he goes to the Cowboys at number 24. And then another offensive tackle here who is extremely gifted at 6'8", 340. Only eight college starts, but my goodness, does he have a lot of ability and just a freak athlete. Amarius Mims to the Green Bay Packers at 25th overall. One of my favorites in this draft is Chop Robinson. I love the fit of him going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive-oriented coaching staff. I think they're going to be able to maximize the player if that rings true. And then back-to-back -back edge rushers here, Darius Robinson. He could play on the edge. He could play a little bit on the interior. Breakout season in 2023 for Mizzou. He goes to the Cardinals with their second selection in this first round. Now things start to get a little bit more interesting. Brian Thomas, wide receiver out of LSU. Big with a lot of speed to the Buffalo Bills at 28. They traded away Stephon Diggs, and they find the replacement there. A.D. Mitchell to the Detroit Lions, another weapon for that offense. And if that happens, it's going to be really scary. 4-3-4-4 guy is also built at 6-2, has everything to his route tree. And then Kool-Aid McKinstry, this is such a Ravens pick because they always like to prioritize defense. Last year had the best defense in the National Football League. He's got swagger. He's a dog that fits the profile for what the Ravens look for for their culture. Now the Niners are on the clock, 31st overall pick, second to last selection in the first round, and Mel Kuyper has San Francisco going with Roger Rosengarten, offensive tackle out of Washington. This is the same player who Kuyper had going to the Niners in his first mock. Was he lazy? He didn't want to switch it up. Here's his reasoning. I'm going to stick with my projection from Mock Draft 3.0 as Rosengarten could challenge Colton McKivitz for snaps at right tackle. He didn't allow any sacks in his 1,158 pass blocking snaps for the Huskies. He also has some familiarity with one of San Francisco's stars. As Christian McCaffrey's dad, Ed McCaffrey, who was an All-Pro, won a couple of Super Bowls with the Denver Broncos, was Rosengarten's High school coach for two years at Valor Christian in Colorado. That's more of an interesting tidbit there. The relationship with the McCaffreys obviously is not a deal breaker, even though Kyle Shanahan loves Christian and grew up being around Ed because Ed was coached by his father, Mike. But it helps with the intel on the player, and it helps you gather some information here. And Rosengarten was the number two overall prospect coming out of the state of Colorado. So highly touted high school recruit. When I scout him, really good size. Checks in at 6'5", 308 pounds. 
He ran a 4.9240 yard dash, which is freakish at that size. That was the fastest 40 yard dash among offensive tackles at the NFL Combine. He has light basketball feet. It's what you always look for in an offensive tackle. If you have cement feet, you're usually on the interior or you're without a job because you're getting beat by a fellow defensive lineman. Good hands to block and finish. And those hands, he's very calculated with how he uses them in his run blocking and pass blocking sets. He's a good climber. What I mean by that, on some of these pull blocks, he can get out in space and get to that second and third level on the screen game. And obviously, Kyle Shanahan likes to do that within his offense. He's been a durable player. Has started all 28 games over the last two years. The weaknesses here, not a huge lower frame that can cause him to lose balance at times, that can cause him to get uprooted. And Mo Kuyper said in his previous mock draft that if Rosengarten were to go back to Washington, he felt as though he could be a top 10 pick. At number 31, a lot of people think this is a reach because a lot of other NFL draft evaluators think that he should go somewhere in the 50s, 60s, maybe even in the 70s. So a developmental project, a little bit of a reach, but that's what the draft is. Oftentimes you're betting on upside, and this is what I'll tell you right now. If the Niners draft him, I still think he's better than Colton McKivitz. The pro football focus numbers in 2023, 993 snaps for a Huskies team that made it all the way to the national championship, pulled off an epic win over Texas in the college football playoff semifinal, Rosengarten with those no sacks allowed, 71.4 pro football focus grade, 12 hurries and four penalties. The athletic testing numbers, very solid. I don't really get why Math Bomb on the relative athletic score here has his height in red. I mean, my dude is 6'5". He is a little bit lighter at 308 pounds, but offensive linemen who were light and good athletes, you can build on that frame. He did bench 225 pounds 20 times. So sometimes, ideally, you look for offensive linemen to put up 25, 30 reps, but that's not an end-all, be-all. At the end of the day, his relative athletic score was a 9.17. Good broad jump. The 40-yard dash, incredible at that size. And that short area quickness with the 20-yard split, 10-yard split, it's important for when you drop back in your pass sets, but also when you get to that second and third level on some of those run-blocking plays. Are you happy with Mel Kuyper's pick of Roger Rosengarten to the Niners at 31? Type H for happy or B for bust. What do you think about who Mel Kuyper has going to the San Francisco 49ers here in his latest mock draft. Today's show is sponsored by Game Time, the only ticketing app that gives you a complete peace of mind with your purchase. See the view from your seat before you buy, so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show your total up front, so you know you're getting a great deal before you check out. Buy tickets in seconds with just two taps, Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the start of any event and even an hour after it starts. If you're running a little bit late, or you can't make a decision until late in the process. It's the place to find last-minute seats, find exclusive flash deals and sponsored deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. And there are exclusive flash deals and sponsored deals on tickets for all of these events allow you to save money, get in the door at a very affordable price tag. There are also zone deals too. So download the Game Time app, create an account, use the code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply, create that account, and use the code CHATSPORTS for $20 off. So the Niners go off, it's a tackle, 31st overall pick in Kuiper's draft. Round two, pick number 63, they go with Drew Phillips, the cornerback out of Kentucky. Kuiper with the short right up here. I thought about defensive line for the Niners, but Phillips could add immediate depth to a secondary that needs a talent infusion. He allowed just a single touchdown catch as the nearest defender in coverage over the last two years, playing in the SEC, by the way. He has intriguing physical traits, but he's a little raw as a cover cornerback. I think for me up to this point, looking at what Kuiper's done, these are two reach picks for the Niners. You can go better here with best, better players available, also known as BPA, best players available on the draft board. And for the Niners, this is a Super Bowl team. 
that we're talking about. And we're drafting developmental players at this point. When I scout Phillips, again, he has upside. He has potential. He's 5'10", 190 pounds, a sub 4 5 40 yard dash, a 4 4 8 was his best time. He's a physical corner who can reroute wide receivers. He has played multiple techniques, which I'm sure the Niners would really like. He has good footwork and acceleration. I think he anticipates very, very well. And the Niners love corners who can anticipate an okay frame, but he's strong. He loves hitting the weight room, so you don't have to worry about the dedication. He has versatility. He could play inside, outside. He played every snap against Tennessee as a slot corner in 2023. He can also play special teams. He had no interceptions in college, which is a little bit weird. And Kuiper threw out the stat of not giving up a touchdown as the nearest defender. That's great, but no picks. He could struggle because of that frame of 5'10 and not having a lot to build upon as far as that frame against bigger wide receivers at the NFL level. To me, this sounds like a slot corner at the NFL level. 5'10, not a big frame. He's tough doesn't have a lot of interceptions. If there's a slot corner on the board here at this point, the player who I'm going with is Mike Sainra still out of Michigan. The Niners like these corners with ball skills, so this could be a player that they decide to target. His last two years, 2022, 31 tackles, one and a half TFLs, five pass breakups, no picks, no forced fumbles. Obviously, those numbers consistent as far as the INTs and forced fumbles the last two years, as you can see. And then five more pass breakups in 2023. At least he's consistent. One and a half TFLs with those 47 tackles. Mixed results on his pre-draft athletic testing numbers. He only earned an 8.08 .08 grade. His height in the red there at just 5'10". The weight, the bench in yellow. Good vertical and broad. That's that twitch that sometimes you look for in corners. The 4-4-8, it's not great. It's not awful. His playing speed, I think, is a little bit faster, but that's in yellow there. So I just think that the Niners could do better here. Mel Kuyper, what do you think of his Niners mock draft? A, B, C, D, or F. Sound off. Let us know what you're thinking here. I'm going to give him a C. I like Mel Kuyper. I like what he does. But these picks... Not flying for me.